In this Minecraft video, I will be showing a few flags of the world. Most of them are from Europe, and for each flag, I will be giving a short fun fact about it. The first flag up is Russia. This flag was used for Ru Russian merchant ships, and after about a history of flag changes, around 5 or 10, the tricolor flag was made official in 1993. This is the flag of Ireland. Uh, the green represents the Gaelic in Ireland, the orange represents the followers of William of Orange, and the white stands for the peace between them. This is the flag of Canada. It was designed by George Stanley and John Matheson, or Matheson. It is based off the flag for the Royal Military College of Canada. This is the flag of the United States of America. The 50 stars on it represent the 50 states, and the 13 stripes on it represent the original 13 colonies. This is the flag of Norway designed by Frederick Meltzer, who had no reason for the colors or the cross on it. But the cross may have represented Christianity. This is the flag of Finland. It was May it dates back to the early 20th century, the early 20th century. And the blue and orange cross on it stands for Christianity. This is the flag of Iceland. It was originally blue with a white cross, but the red was inserted the day they became independent. Each color represents something in Iceland. The red stands for Iceland's volcanoes, the white re represents snow and ice, and the blue stands for mountains. This is a flag of England. Some people call it the Union Jack. The design was made to signify the union between England, Ireland, and Scotland. The flag is a cross between something that symbolizes each of them. There's a red cross of St. George for England, the white saltire of St. Andrew for Scotland, and the red saltire of St. Patrick for Ireland. This is a flag of Greece. The cross stands for the Eastern Orthodox Christianity, and the nine stripes stand for the nine syllables in the phrase, Freedom Before Death. This is the flag of Hungary. It was a, it originated from the National Freedom Movement around 1848, after the freedom movement, it was prohibited and was only made legal, as well as the flag of the country, in 1867. Austria. It originated from the coat of arms of the Bandenberg dynasty, but according to legend, Duke Leopold V of Austria created it because of his role in the Battle of the Siege of Arc. The legend claims that after the battle, Duke's surcoat was drenched in blood completely, but when he took off his belt, it revealed a strip of white, which is the pattern of the Austrian flag. But most legends are fake, and this one probably was. This is the flag of Estonia. The blue symbolizes ancient freedom, the black symbolizes lost independence, and the white symbolizes the promise of a brighter future. This is the flag of France. At the beginning of the French Revolution, the Paris Milita were a cockade or uniform of red and blue, the city's traditional colors. According to a French general, general white, the ancient color of France, was added to create the tricolor.
This is the flag in the Netherlands. It's basically the France flag turned on its side. It was originally in tricolor of white, blue, and orange, the, but the flag gradually and slowly became um, white, blue, and red after 1630. There's no real reason for it, but most people believe that the red, the orange was made of red and yellow vegetable dyes. But after a while, the yellow vegetable dye faded, leaving red. This is the flag of Ukraine. The roots of the Ukrainian national symbols come from before Christian times when yellow and blue, that's flag is, prevailed in traditional ceremonies, which they ref reflect in fire and water. This is the flag of Poland. The red and blue, red and white, are defined as the national colors of Poland. On their flag is also the white eagle of Poland. I apologize for this pattern. It was very, this is the best I could do. I almost couldn't do the flag. In Minecraft, you cannot do rounds things, sadly. This is a flag of Germany. Originally, it was not red, gold, and black. In 1866, after the Austro-Persian War, it was black, white, and red. Then after a few years, the flag changed, then changed again in 1918, then changed again in 1933, and finally in 1990, it became the tricolor of red, gold, and black. This is the flag of Armenia. The red, the red stands for the blood of the 1.5 million Armenians, the blue for the sky, and the orange for the country's courage. This is the flag of Belgium. The colors are taken from the Duchy of Brabant. The design may be based on the flag of France. This is the flag of Bulgaria. The flag was first adopted as a national flag after the Russia-Turkish War, which is 1877 to 1878, where Bulgaria gained independence. This is the flag of Denmark. A legend states the origin of the flag the or origin of the flag was at the Battle of Lindanasa, also known as the Battle of Valdemar. It was on June fifteenth, twelve nineteen. The legend claims the battle was going badly, and defeat looked close, but a Danish priest on top of a hill overlooking the battle prayed to God, and the more he prayed, the more victory for the Danish seemed possible. At a second, he was so tired in his arms that he dropped them, and the Danes then lost the advantage and were moving closer to defeat. He needed two soldiers to keep his hands up, and when the Danes were about to win, a red flag with a right cross miraculously fell from the sky. And most, some people think this was a gift from God because of the Danish priest. So the king took the flag, showed it to the, the troops, and their hearts were filled with courage, and the Danes won the battle. And afterwards, it was made the flag of their country. This is the this is the last flag I will be able to do. And this flag is the Georgia flag of Georgia country. This flag com is commonly referred to as the five cross flag, and was adopted in January two thousand four. It was originally the flag of the United National Movement. It was used widely during the Rose Revolution of 2004. So this is the last flag I was able to do in this video. I will be doing the rest of the flags in a second video, and I hope you watch it.